back up for the clean flow Can-Am. 65 is Bruce Vasser. Number 39 riding for USA is Ron Rashford. Moving into position now, 15 is Gary Vasser riding for Canada. Number one right against the board is Brad Hewling. Number 20 riding for the U.S., Robert Zwarka. Number 60 is Mike Weatherill riding for Canada. And 25 moving into position what is Tom Ryman Schneider. Now coming up on the inside, number seven, riding for Canada is Michel Gingra. They're all in place for the Clean Flow Can-Am event. Number seven, Michel Gingra getting into position one more time to satisfy our starter, Roly Mazenov. Remember that it's total points that determine the winner in this event. You're watching eight of the top riders in North America compete in the Clean Flow Can-Am, and they're up. two into the back straight away they'll go for eight laps they'll complete eight laps in the clean flow can-am not an individual rider that determines the winner this is the clean flow can-am and we got a battle going for the number one spot brad hewling's riding for the u.s is in the lead that hewling down that back straight away in the lead with jingra tight on his Dale with about eight eight lengths difference between the two of them. That's all and that's nothing in an eight lap race. They've completed one and a half. They'll come through the grandstand straight away one more time. That's your leader, Brad Hewling. This is a clean slow stand. There's the Canadian moving up. Looks like Mike Weatherall in that number three position now. So we've got an American in the lead and two Canadians running in the second and third spot. We'll pick them up for you as they come out of turn number four and into the grandstand straight away. This is an eight-lap event. Hewlings with a very healthy lead. He has had some problems today, though. Bruce Vasser running in the position. And at third is Running at fourth is Ron Rasper. So we have Canadians running second and third. And a U.S. rider in the lead. We've lost the machine. Looks like Gary Vasser down between turn three and four. Into the grandstand straight away. This is your leader. That's Brad Hewling riding for the U.S. Riding in second spot, 65. Bruce Vasser for Canada. Seven is Michelle Gingra running in third. Third is Ron Rathburn. We only have four machines left on the track in this Can-Am. We've lost a couple over between turn three and four. Tom Ryman Schneider and Robert Zwarka down between turns three and four. And this clean flow Can-Am event is currently Brett followed in second spot by Bruce Vasser. Seems that Gary Vasser is also having equipment problems. So the race is two and two. As they come out of turn number four one more time, this is your leader, Brad Hewlings, with a very healthy lead in the clean flow Can-Am for Daco Kawartha International. Five is Bruce Vasseur running in second spot. And number one, Hillings with a, an exceptional lead here. We would have expected in this event. We would have expected much tighter competition. Number one, Hilling. Riding for the USA, followed by 65, Bruce Vasseur. The way it's been almost since the opening lap in this eight-lap clean flow Can-Am. They're in the final turn of the racetrack. Flag lap, they've got half a mile to go. He's got the and number 39, Ron Rathburn. Here comes your leader to take the checkered flag is Brad Hewling, wearing number one, riding for the U.S. 65 is Bruce Vasseur running in second spot. And a very distant third, number seven riding for Canada, Michel Gingra. Comes through to take the checkered flag from Roley. And number 39, Ron Rathburn. Total points will determine the Can-Am winner. And hopefully we'll have a chance to chat with the team leader of the 1984 Clean Flow Can-Am. But down to the start finish line to take a checkered flag. Number one, Brad Hewling.